Welcome to part two of the uh, spoiler install for the Miata. Uh, I didn't take a bunch of video of this process of me mounting these things, uh, the supports themselves. They're, again, it's up to your interpretation how you want to do it, or if you feel like drilling holes in your trunk, or maybe using uh, blind rivets or nut certs or something. Uh, I did this yesterday. It's They're done mounted. Uh, <clears throat> there's... There's a bit of a discrepancy in it as far as these being a touch lower than the center section. So as you can tell by the turnbuckles, the center one's maxed out as low as it can go. And these on the outside still have about a, I don't know, I'd say an inch of travel left into them. And that's about where it needs to be for the piece of cardboard to line straight. It's still not quite perfect. There's going to be some all the way that these are made they're always loose like this you got to go back and tighten all the bolts whenever you're whenever you have the AOA set you go back and just tighten everything all the spoilers I've seen are like that unless they use a cable system or something where there's always tension on it there's a few CSP cars I've seen that way and the next step in all this is to grab yourself some some sort of polycarbonate I just found a bunch of it used on Craigslist. I got that and a bunch of pieces over here. I paid $65 for all of this. Uh, I had to drive about 35 minutes outside of town, um, but it's, I mean, just alone, this piece right here is over a hundred bucks. This stuff's so expensive. So if you can find some used stuff on Craigslist, I really recommend it. So the next thing is to come out here and uh, I'm gonna cut a rough, um, outline from my cardboard template uh, a big secret not nah, it's not a big secret but a, a good way to do this first is always start with easier to work with material so I this is just a rough outline of what it is I just traced it on here I'm gonna cut it out and then mount it up and see how it looks this will give me my mounting points and things and we'll go from there uh, and then I'll eventually transfer this this will be a permanent template so that way when i make other ones or if i ever do make other ones and then i can just come over here and i'll transfer uh transfer it onto this right here is about three sixteenths uh it's okay i've got another three sixteenth sheet right here here's another uh, eighth sheet in case i mess that one up and this is a quarter inch uh and i'm probably ultimately use this piece it's it's extremely sturdy but it's so heavy compared to the other ones which might be a good thing uh so the rest of this is just going to be me going through the process. Uh, maybe I'll talk about it a little bit when I'm finished or some of the follies I've had. Uh, stay tuned. It's a little rough. I gotta uh, shape it in a little bit, but it kinda gets the point across.
little bit of tweaking. But, uh, pretty good for the first time. <laughs>